I'm gonna fix that later. <laughs> I didn't. The only certain people can, can who can see the no safe work channel only that only those people can do that. But I'm gonna fix that 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 channel, right? I'm gonna fix that later. Let me pause this music. I'm gonna fix that later. I'm gonna watch this. And what is this? The fi the D Bizarre fifties course for seven hour long times a meal. Yeah, you read the title right. Yeah. This is a 50 course, seven hour long meal. And it's really weird. No. I got the chance to visit the weirdest restaurant in the world. I'm talking about Alchemist in Copenhagen. Reservations sell out in under three seconds, and it's one of the best restaurants in the world, but I can't even really call it dinner. I mean, when's the last time you did this during dinner? It's what? crazy that I got to experience this, but dinner will set you back almost a thousand dollars. So I really just want- I would never spend. Hell no, fucking hell no. I will never, never spend $1,000. I'll answer no. two questions today. What makes this the weirdest restaurant in the world and is it worth it? The experience starts from the moment you walk in. These massive doors that slowly open to a black void. You're told to go into a pitch black room where all- <laughs> Never, it even looks ugly. All of a sudden- A violinist from the Copenhagen Philharmonic greets you with a Danish folk song. It was actually a little bit scary. But then the doors open and you're in their lounge with their massive wine towers and interactive drink menus waiting for the meal to begin. There were already- What? Their massive wine towers- Dude. And interactive drink menus waiting for the meal to begin. There were already some ridiculous moments even before we got the food. But for this meal, I decided to let go of- all expectations of what this meal could be so I could really experience everything that they had to offer. And then the food started coming out. And already I was shocked. Okay, what's that? A da is that Daisy with a center that explodes in your mouth. A drink made with rabbit ears. The thing about this restaurant is usually I can imagine what a dish looks like. But when you tell me that this is a dumpling and the texture of the outside is almost like cotton candy, my brain just can't process it. This is bread made from vegetable leftovers that they collaborated with SpaceX and NASA on. Like, what? So, the next impression is our attempt to make in the perfect omelet. So what we have here is a very thin skin that's made of eggs. We fill it up with a soft scramble from the eggs itself with a bit of county cheese. Hi, what's up? Alexia. And on top we put pancetta and truffle butter. How's it going? Their bikini sandwich from Spain was transformed into a- Uh, is anything okay with you? Mochi ball of cheese and Iberian ham goodness. Oh my god. I have never had a meal like this It's going nice and going in I felt a little Intimidated I mean the giant doors the pitch black room of the violinist the space food who wouldn't feel intimidated But then as the dishes started coming I was kind of just having fun I felt like a, a kid in a toy store. <laughs> I think I still hungry if I eat all of that Yes, I'm heading out. Oh, you do that. No. Getting to play with all of these different dishes. And then we were whisked away from the lounge into their main dining room. Need to go to bed. Need to wake up. Alright, you do that. See you next time, alright? See you next time, Swicket. Sleep well. Man, pff, I mean, j just, just look at it. You walk in and there's this giant dome with beautiful visuals on it that move and change. The waitstaff is serving guests in their simple yet elegant gray- Also, Alexia, uh, I really hope you had a very good stream today. Outfits and everything is so precise and orderly. Honestly, if you told me that this was part of some dystopian novel or movie, I would have- That's good. That's good to hear. Fully believed you. And it's funny because the first dish that we were served here was called 1984. And it's a very famous line from the book. So Apen is a dodo brain, dodo brain. 
Apen plays with Dodo Dodo brain. Haha. Uh -huh. Also saying the big. Oh yeah, because that. Okay, because I have a. Because Discord is so fucked up. Brother is watching you. Right. So tonight we are watching you with this eye. I'm scared now. Why is this? I definitely did. That, that was a great stream. Yeah. What, what the fuck is this? We are serving you a Danish potato. What? Together with you. I'm also... I'm also do the brain. Yeah, because... Right now, the ghost... Tried to join my Discord, but, but he cannot see the other channel because some unknown reason why because Discord is acting stupid. The cream made out of leverage. Some this is fucking scary. Fresh green peas, and on top, sorry, you extra caviar. So from here on out, what I love about Alchemist. Why is my pee red? Give Pelzi Doritos chip one or four. Take Nergi. If you. If your pee is red, then you need to go to hospital. Many of their dishes have some sort of deeper meaning. 1984 was about data privacy, and you have the High visuals stress. on the dome with all the eyes watching you like Big Brother really is watching you. We'll wind up having dishes that are about human rights, blood donations, caged animals, and then you have dishes like this. This impression is called Plastic Fantastic. It is a comment on microplastics, the ones we find in our oceans and in the creatures that live in the ocean. But that wasn't their only commentary about the ocean they had this or not if you're in the usa what this beautifully lit jellyfish dish that's about finding more sustainable sources of seafood that we can eat and enjoy they also had this cake that was made from the tails of king crab which are often an underutilized part of the animal huh this was a menu that really made you think if you told me that i would be going in so so may so so this is the reason why why everything costs so much. Going to a hospital you say is like, yeah, it is fucking this expensive. Meal and learning about the world, I would have thought that you were crazy. But when you're eating a dish that looks and feels like plastic and you're looking at the visuals on the dome of a turtle trapped in some plastic itself, you really start to feel something. But not all the dishes had some sort of societal meaning. Some of them were just fun. Russ was got the inspiration of his favorite food, the little lobster roll. You just make a mold from a real lobster claw, fill it up with the meat part, freeze oh. it down, dip it in vodka, and deep fry it. After this is when things start to get creepy, like really creepy. I'm an adventurous eater, but even I started to have my limits tested by some of these dishes. Is that a penis? <laughs> I'm scared. What is that? Okay, what the fuck? Oh, There was a moment. What? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Where I overheard the guy next to me saying that he would not eat the <laughs> tiny brain. I need to drink. I need to drink. I need to drink more. What? What the? F what? No matter what. So I literally had to turn to him. My brain cannot him pr him proceed to this. At I least try the dish, you know? Alchemist is not just about the fun and freewheeling dishes. It's also got some dishes that will make you uneasy. But when the waitstaff came and explained what the dishes were made of and what they represented, it sort of eased a lot of that fear. This is the lungs of the lamb, which is very much a kind of taboo uh, part of the animal, even by awful standards. Here we've made them into almost like a pate or like a cream. We're eating lungs right now. Mm. Really, really delicious, actually. That's amazing. Here you're getting. They just made sure it will not be visiting the. <laughs> the impression, which is called food for thought. Mmm, yummy! You're getting served here to lamb. But why? Why? In a. Why are you serving people? In a. In a. 
brain. It comes on top of a uh, deep fried brioche bowl, which is filled. It looks like a fucking head. With foie gras and a little bit more thinning. What are we eating? Lamb brain. This is what we're eating. Lamb brain. Mmm. Oh my god. So with lungs and brain on the menu, we might as well have had the tongue as well. They didn't explicitly state that it was a replica of the chef's tongue, but I feel like it was implied, so I had to give the chef a French kiss. What? did he just say? This section of the dishes was just insane and is what made Alchemist so weird and beautiful and amazing. I mean the Hello, file boss. act of literally freeing a caged chicken in order to enjoy your dish while images of tons of caged birds are all around you is actually quite powerful. Look at this uh, chicken leg. We freed it from the cage, now we have to eat it. I used to think that fine dining was stuffy, formal. It was a bunch of people in suits and ties and white tablecloths on the table. But what I realized, especially for me, is I just love seeing how far food can go. How it can be creative and innovative and be more than just about taste. How it can really potentially inspire. And seemingly simple dishes like this light and airy bread topped with Iberian ham or this fluffy bow that almost looks I know we are Dan. Dance are weird sometimes, but I didn't even know about this. It's like it came out of Squid Game, can be so interesting and unique. Now, desserts were my favorite part of the meal, but there was one part that actually shocked me. I had never seen this in a restaurant before. It's this room that's blindingly pink. It's an interactive dish. I mean, I just, I really don't know how to explain it. Welcome. I will be guiding you through this experience. Please wipe your hands with the napkin in front of you. Please throw your napkin on the floor. Carefully grip the cup with one hand. Insert your index finger into the cup. By the way, yes, we are still... ...eating a fine dining meal. Run your finger along the inside of the cup and then raise your finger lick your finger now <laughs> what kind of saw game is this? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't even know how to describe what just happened. Shall we move on to desserts? It's uh, the iconic Andy Warhol banana. This is uh, a piece of art that actually does hang in Rasmus's kitchen, but it also depicts the art that Andy Warhol did for another one of Rasmus's inspirations, which is the Velvet Underground. Blood donation is very, very close to a lot of Dane's hearts. Right now, there's a pretty serious national blood shortage, so they're kind of constantly doing call-outs for people to, uh, to donate blood. I need more alcohol. Blood if they're able. But we also know that lots of our guests don't come from Denmark. It's not super relevant to only talk about the local blood. Okay, that, that's that. Okay, not that, not that. That's too fucking creepy. Shortage. Uh, so we yeah, I am. Built the QR code at the bottom. So you're paying blood now? Of the plate. What? It launches uh, a website that we designed to kind of get guests connected to blood banks that are closest to them. To finish off the meal, we had this chocolate bar because ending on blood isn't the best. This chocolate bar has facts about child labor in the chocolate trade and how inhumane some chocolate can be. It's in a biodegradable wrapper and the bar itself is in the shape of a grave to really highlight that point. It's Oh my. Powerful stuff. We had a final few bites like these wood ants inside of Am. Why do I want to eat that? But the seven hours really flew by. I honestly can't even believe- Hum? What? wood ants inside of amber but the seven hours really seven hours flew by. I honestly can't even believe that we were there for that long. So seven hours. Is it worth it? Well the short answer for me is yes. It was the best meal I've ever had in my entire life. I see it kind of like getting VIP tickets to your favorite artist's concert or getting tickets to the World Cup. It's a once in a lifetime experience, but it's something that you should experience. But I, okay, the title came fucking lying to you. All right? Once in your life. I'll be, 
I've been on the, I've been using YouTube for a long time and uploading videos. I have seen people who's misleading titles all the fucking time. So Tom, sometimes I do not believe it. Titles. Yeah, you read. That's why I do not believe it. <laughs> okay. That's why I was in shock. 